Hello everyone, my name is Anderson Dick. I'm the founder and CEO for FieldTech. And Luis De Leon, tech director here at FieldTech USA. And we're here to bring for you guys some of the new products, new features, new development. We're working really hard to get innovation for you guys. Let's start with like the, the, the very first product that's actually mandatory to run uh, electronic wastegate. We just releasing the dual power drive. Uh, as, as most of you guys, field tech customers are uh, used to, we have like yellow outputs. Like you guys know that those are like high frequency switching outputs, but they also can go power ground. So they, they are really useful. And those are the ones that you guys use for electronic throttle body. This gate, the electronic gate, it's actually a unit that requires a similar behavior, but requires way more current. And that's why we developed with this software version, the 4.6, a whole product that can provide the current necessary for this electronic gate. So as you guys can see, the electronic wastegate, it's not much different from a regular wastegate. The bottom part is exactly the same. There's no change. Actually, if you have a TurboSmart a gate you can actually do like a pretty straightforward remove the mechanical old one yep. pneumatic style and put this one just the head a little bit taller right and all the controllers are inside this unit like no more co2 lines no more uh you know reference what? lines let's let's you know? show on a real car yeah let's show on a real car we have here this is a turbo car a promote and this is a perfect example where we can actually show the differences it, it's it's cool to compare because like this is exactly what we were talking just right now it, it has a turbo smart gate right mm -hmm. so the bottom part of the gate it's not much different right so what it changes the head but you don't need to worry so much about heat on your lines right you don't need to use those stainless steel lines your uh, boost control line comes back inside the car you have like valves inside the car you have a co2 bottle that you need to be you know, on top of it, making sure that you always have CO2 on the line. Like this all can be replaced with That's another cool. gate and just hey. a small driver. Yeah, so one in, in a few words, uh, when we're replacing electronic waste, uh, regular waste gate, you get rid of the, a lot of all this, all the lines, this line that always can yeah. cause line you problems. Fittings, then right. also the CO2 line by on a turbo car like this, it's common to use over 100 PSI of CO2 pressure. So when you have a, over 100 PSI of CO2 pressure here, you have to be careful about the member, the di diaphragm. You have to be careful about all these connections. Yeah, it, sometimes it leaks on the on the flange, you know, like a bolt gets yeah. loose, you know, from vibrating and stuff. And like you just, yeah. it loses the, it leaks. Yeah, and also you don't you don't have to use anymore the, the, the wastegate pressure sensor. You don't have to use the dual valve block or the injectors that controls the CO2. Y even the CO2 bottle may not be required depending on the yeah. what if, else if you, you have. If you have an electric shifter, you don't need the CO2 anymore. Yeah. Right. So we're removing so much stuff. And these electronic waste gates, they pretty much, you have six wires. These six wires are, it's five volts for the sensor, ground for the sensor, a position sensor, that tells exactly the position you have on the car and a temperature sensor to monitor if the wastegate is actually overheating or any problem because if it's connected to the exhaust, so it's important to monitor that. And the other two wires goes for the power driver, which pretty much is like to the DC motor that moves the valve and control the precisely the position. So Luis, tell, tell us about the software and what are the features that FuTech can control. The major of them, like there's so many details, so like specific applications will require specific use of the feature. But like, generally speaking, the feature can manage either one or two. So if you have a single gate or have a dual gate, the feature can do that. Not just that, it also can manage those different electronic waste gates like uh, common found or like uh, OEM. OEM vehicles, like a, a newer generations BMW and stuff like that. It can man manipulate that one. And something that's actually pretty cool, he also can manage the electronic bypass mm -hmm. for some blowers. So like uh, the Dodge Hemi that uh, comes on the Hellcat and, and other cars with that uh, uh, same motor, that Hemi 6.2, 6.4. The bypass is really similar to electronic waste of, to um, electronic throttle body, but the way it behaves is completely different from the pedal. So mm -hmm. it's actually boost manipulation. So if it, it fits inside the electronic wastegate controller. So going back to the feature itself, it's not much different than uh, 
the boost controller feature, right? The biggest so difference is the target. Yes, part. the biggest uh, difference is you're not manipulating the dome pressure anymore. You actually manipulating what is your boost target. Mm -hmm. So I go two step. You guys don't need to guess how much PSI it's whatever to do something. And, and there are there are many boost controllers that actually done yes, that already. So yes, people are using. Yes. Yes. The biggest difference is now you have a direct actuation exactly over the gate because the biggest challenge about controlling uh, the 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 boost control the boost itself the intake manifold pressure was that you had to control a dome pressure that that will control our, the wastegate that will control the, really the position yes. and now we're really jumping directly to the actuation on the wastegate yes valve. yes and and this is something that we spoke several times with customers like uh, when when we had the boost controller we still have that mm -hmm. that thing still available so the the regular boost controller manipulates the gate and we never even actually apply to manipulate based on intake pressure because there's so much delay between mm -hmm. and the wastegate the pneumatic wastegate it's a unit that lacks a, a damper so that unit that valve is always bouncing back mm -hmm. and forth it's fighting against you have on on the top whatever pressure you're commanding on the bottom it's whatever pressure the motor is making and they always fighting and going somewhere and the electronic gate takes that away yeah you guys it's almost like having a suspension on a car without yes. a shock and yes. having only the spring yes suspension but the, that actually when we start seeing over the years uh, wastegate position sensors we can see there is a lot of unstable positions yes. and that actually affects the, how the engine behaves and the power mm -hmm. the back pressure a lot of let's say bad things about that the good thing about the electro electronic wastegates you, you actually have a direct actuation over the valve and you can really make it very smooth and very precise operation and another thing on the dual wastegate operation you can electronically set uh, off an offset between them to make sure to to equalize your your let's say both sides of the engine or whatever you really need to make the back pressures the same on both sides and you have the sensor to confirm that yes and then if you add a back pressure sensor you can even double triple check pretty mm -hmm. much that you you're you're having uh, equalization on the exhaust side another note about the electronic gate is the unit now manipulates the position itself mm -hmm. so the unit actually knows like once you inform what you have the unit knows how much it flows right so it kind of predicts i need this flow change to interact with my motor what i need to do so the the whole concept of manipulating boost from a turbo since we don't have like a uh, a belt or it's not a crank driven compressor like it's just like exhaust flow you don't know exactly what's going on it's misfiring maybe not misfiring you actually know what it takes flow wise to try to get the car somewhere based on what's been going on and that makes the controller way better across our PM range sometimes it's it's really it's really popular to see that your boosted turbo car combination works really good on a certain zone if you try to be too slow on the RPM or too high on the RPM and when I mean RPM the turbo RPM it doesn't actually react how you go and you actually need to tune around that mm -hmm. right so like oh i need to leave with at least this shaft rpm on my turbo otherwise it, it bogs otherwise it goes whatever and you actually guess what it takes to do that on the gate if the weather condition comes around you like the air is way better the air is way worse how many more pounds of pressure on the gate you need to take it and the the vast majority of people that try to do like correlated to the motor may overshoot too much on the gate and then as the turbo is pulls it tries to open and if the driver let go the bottom right there boom too much yeah. power you know and that's and that's the biggest struggle when you have a intake boost base turbo controller boost controller mm -hmm. it's just like that delay between it's not the controller doesn't work the controller yeah. works fine but it, the the information what you need to do and how to do is too far from each other and now you ain't they're pretty much straightforward i have my boost i can move my valve right there on that moment yeah. so as the boost is try to build you're already doing something on your gate mm -hmm. you don't need you know oh, how much more co2 i need to take it off you don't know but the gate position you know yeah and um in the control side we we work really hard to have uh, the best strategy to precise position target in the wastegates 
We also have a very advanced PID control with newer technology to really be as much precise and as, as to the point to make the life easier for the tuner. So like we said, you, do, you guys don't have to worry because all the background uh, work is, has been, been done pretty much to get at a point you pretty much have a table where you have a time-based boost target or you have a gear-based boost target or a wheel speed to boost target or pretty much RPM or uh, there's multiple ways of actually targeting whatever boost you need and then you can have a specific for two-step, trans brake, uh, multiple settings and everything is really very easy it's a free update on any fuel tech FT450, 500, 550 or 600 ECU you can download on the website at 4.6 update contains all the wastegate updates and also the 4.6 contains a lot more features you can you can check on the website what else it's incorporated on that feature and that's our our really how we develop everything we constantly try to bring new strategies new features new software we're always listening to the racers we're trying to race we're testing here these guys being on the on the on the driver's seat for the dyno probably long more than many many people in in the world uh, and we have always the opportunity and we always be looking to to test and develop new stuff if you want to replace your co2 bottle you know several lines a whole actuator uh, a boost sensor or more by just these two yep. guys, this is this is something that you can do. Right. No more filling bottles. No more. Sometimes you hear like the car stay on the sun, and the bottle's really full, yeah. and it opens up the valve. That won't happen anymore. Yeah. Like there's so many small details that goes around a regular boost controller that they are prone to failure, yeah. and you need to stay on top. That you just remove from all those variables. Yeah. From that thing, right? Like uh, uh, another one. Sometimes people have an external valve just to be able to try to pin shut the valve you uh -huh. don't need it anymore yeah right you want to pin shut pin shut you know mm -hmm. like all all that control allows to have better management over the turbo yeah and that was the main struggle between turbos and any kind of blowers mm -hmm. how can you manage because like if you have a belt or you have gears it's easy you know where the blower yeah. will be you don't know about the turbo where it's going to be right yeah. the electronic gate more likely will make a huge difference on drag racing and will allow people to run better turbo cars and we're not going to even mention about street cars yeah i was going like, to mention man street cars no <laughs> co2 needed anymore you don't hey, imagine have a co2 on a street car oh That's, yeah like it's like i know people that yeah. do it's just like it's but, just painful but right? if, even if you don't use a co2 on a street car you you remove so many valves yes, and even, you make yes. so much more precise yes and yes. honestly it's six wires it's yeah, so it's easy simple. Yeah, it's, it's simple. so simple to wire simple. simple so even the street cars and if you considering having a high quality wastegate yes we definitely recommend turbo smart uh there is there will be for sure many other manufacturers for yes. electronic wastegates. Mm -hmm. that's the future for sure fuel is proud of already being on the leading edge of having the features and the software compatible for that again that's a free update you can download to it uh, any existing fuel tech mm -hmm. and and guys we really appreciate you watching this video please subscribe to our channel make sure you write a comment uh, or something you want to know about this we'll be doing our best to re reply if you have any questions, call our tech support team. We'll be glad to help and make this a new stage for everyone. Thank you.